there's nothing. I mean, you can, it's sad if you're like just alone with like a cake, you know, like, oh, happy birthday to me. It's like, bro, no one's there. So this year I ran quite the, I guess you could say, uncommon experiment. I made my birthday a normal day, or basically I didn't do anything on my birthday and I tried and I had no one tell me happy birthday. I didn't do anything that was associated to it being my birthday. And I almost got away with it. Freaking two people told me happy birthday. I didn't expect it. It was like, it was uh, my, one of my supervisors and another coworker because it was on the freaking like work app. I was like, wow, so close, so close, right? But why to do such a thing? Well, coming from years and years and seeing like not only myself, but people treat birthdays as to sort of like, it was almost like your birthday was Valentine's Day or it was a typical anniversary, right? Which in a sense, it is like an anniversary, of course, right? But the thing is, when it comes to the expectation and pressure and even sometimes like entitlement, where it's like, oh, it's my birthday. Well, what am I gonna ask for this time? Well, I gotta do something, right? What are we gonna do? Okay, today's my birthday, so I'm gonna call off of work or I shouldn't be working. I, I could, I should relax or I should get off early. You know, I should be treated better. And the reason why I even say those things, even if you're not, even if you don't think like, oh, that's what you do, it's kind of like, well, when it happens, how do you react, right? Like when it's your birthday and you're not having a good day, not only have I, but in with other people, it's the thing of like, it's my birthday though. Why is today such a bad day? Or am I, you know, why are people being mean to me at work or something like that, right? For all I know, I'm trying, I'm supposed to be relaxing and it's my day. Or even when it comes to the thing of like, it's, you know, when people take it, take it to a whole other point where it's like, oh, I turn, for example, you know, my birthday is in September. Oh, September's my month. And it's like, September's your month. Like, damn, you went from day to month. You went, you went from birth, birth month. And I guess what, I don't know. The entire month is just doing things for it or celebrating it all month or something like that. And it's not that those things are like entirely bad. It's the, it's the case where it's not that genuine or, or it's really something that's happening because of like an automation built over time. Like not because you actually care about doing something for your birthday or you actually care about like, oh, people should be treating me better or even because you even believe those things. It's more of like you just, that's how it's been for the past years, ever since you were a kid. Oh, it's your birthday. And they give you gifts and you're getting a pat on the back and everyone kisses you, will hug you and everything like that, everything like that, right? People at school will tell you and everything. And you know, so it just happens so many times where it's like, oh, it's kind of like you get up in the morning and alarm, oh, time to get up, right? And I wasn't, I wasn't really liking that, especially when it comes to the, some of the things that can happen that really, to really, uh, I guess I like mess with that or not make that as ideal. And so I was like, well, what if, what if instead of reaching that point to where I guess it just won't happen, you know, maybe those, th there might be a point in time when that day comes when people just aren't, aren't around or no one's gonna give you a gift or you're not gonna ask for anything, something like that, right? You know, we grow up, whatever. That's probably, that's gonna happen. If not, probably will, might, whatever, right? So I was like, let's, how about, you know, while I could do something, I could, you know, make this mean more than it is. I could add these things to it. I could be like, you know, it was my birthday today, so I'm a cheat day, I'm gonna eat what I want, I'm gonna, you know, buy myself things and, you know, post it on my Instagram and, you know, I'm gonna try to schedule some sort of a dinner hour. I gotta do something at least, right? All these things. I was like, how about I just not, right? Just not. Don't tell me happy birthday. You know, don't, don't even tell me happy birthday this time. I wanna just legit see how it is to wake up on this day with the least to, to no acknowledgement about it and just go about it and see see what happens see how i feel see you know 
if it's weird or like when I think about it. And overall, it was interesting because it was like this thing of I'm going, it's kind of like walking through a trail and you're still walking through the trail, right? But in the back of your mind, kind of have this feeling of like, there is probably like a bear here. There's probably like a animal or there's something around here, right? Like as I went throughout the day, I was in the back of my mind, I was like, it is my birthday today or hmm, like I'm 21 now, right? I'm so, you know, and it's kind of, it wasn't like so uncomfortable to where I was like itching to freaking do something about it or anything like that. It was more of a uncomfortableness of coming from a place of that it was something negative or that because no one said it or because, and once again, I, I had people not say it, so that was also probably, you know, a difference in there. But it was a thing of, hmm, you know, I'm not acknowledged or I'm not being celebrated or I'm not surrounding by people that I love. And they're not, you know, we're not having this celebration of my existence and whatnot. And, and thinking that like, oh, you know, that's bad because that's like a way that someone's supposed to show that they care. Or that's supposed to be the way that is shown, right? But of course, which is not, and even them, this was an experiment. So some of it was, I guess, like skewed in a way. Cause it's one thing if they didn't, it's one thing if no one said it, cause no one would say it, you know? And if I thought, or if like no one actually loved me or you know what I mean? But being quite thoughtful of those things, it made that, it registered that differently in my mind. And so, and so with that, I came to the conclusion of that I think we treat, I think we put a little too much into these days, you know? I think if it's your birthday, it's fine if you wanna celebrate it, of course. Of course, of course, it's totally fine. My only thing about it is when it's not genuine, it's not wholesome, it's not actually coming from a meaningful place of like, cause the, the most rawest form of celebrating your birthday is legit family and friends, people that care about you around you. And you guys are just acknowledging your, your existence or you're, they're just celebrating you. They're just, thank you for being alive or look how far you've come, blah, 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 right? That's the most rawest form. I believe that's the most rawest form of a birthday. Cause what, what is it without anybody else like like what is it it's nothing i mean you can it's sad if you're like just alone with like a cake you know like oh happy birthday to me it's like bro no one's there it's dangerous as if you weren't born you know so yeah and so when I, and yeah that's that's really the thing about it i would reckon I wouldn't recommend doing the same experiment if anything my challenge to everyone that sees this is that when it's your birthday, don't expect like material things. Don't expect like, well, you know, where's my gift at? You didn't give me a gift, what you gonna get me? Or oh, I'm gonna take this advantage to ask for something. Don't do that. Instead, if someone wants to give you something, let them give it to you. If they ask you, what would you like? Try to make it as meaningful as possible. Say like something meaningful, something comes from your heart, right? Don't buy me a bag of chips, don't buy me a gift card, don't buy me some shoes or something. Buy me, don't even buy, like create something and give it to Create something meaningful, give me something meaningful. Cause I mean like, if someone buys you a freaking video game or something like, e even within like a few years, that becomes so irrelevant, you know? And it's like, what? That's, you know, it just goes away. You already have so much that anyways, you don't need anymore, right? So I'd say if anything that and don't worry about going somewhere. Don't worry about going to Las Vegas. Don't worry about let's have a freaking party or something. Don't worry about that. Worry about just being with people. Maybe a dinner. Maybe a walk or something. Maybe just some sort of just some sort of a gathering. But don't worry about having to spend money on invitations and a bunch of balloons and stuff. Just be together. And then, and then see how you feel and write it down or think about it or make a video or let me know. Experiment one, happy birthday to me, 21.